now many a time we are supposed to find out numbers which which a range of numbers from some number to another number which satisfy a given equation not, not a given equation maybe many a times they satisfy a given inequality and we will be doing a lot of these questions okay so we come to a concept called intervals as subsets of r intervals as subsets of r right intervals as subsets of r okay let us take an example so i have say a thing like this x minus 2 into x minus 3 okay and i want to find out when will this be less than 0 when will this take a negative value right now what happens how do i do these questions okay let us first of all draw a real number line get the point draw a real number line and and mark those points which are the zeros of this okay the values where the the, the values of x where it goes to zero and and those values are given by x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to zero and that can happen either when this goes to zero or that goes to zero because it's a product so so it implies that x minus 2 is equal to zero or x minus 3 is equal to 0 and, and this implies that x is equal to 2 and x is equal to or, or x is equal to 3 so so we have we have we have the zeros like that okay and so on right? it's a number line so it will go to infinity on both the sides now now what happens we mark these zeros as as this so, so so there is an x is equal to 2 here and there is an x is equal to 3 here right right now if the whole thing is greater than 3 right so if i am in this region greater than 3 okay what happens if 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 x is greater than 3 then this whole thing is positive and if this is greater than 3 this also is positive so the product of two positives will give me a positive so in this whole region for for all values of x greater than 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 3 it is it is positive now what happens in between for example i come in between this okay so what happens in this zone and what is that zone that that is from x is equal to 2 to x is equal to 3 so it is greater than 2 but it's less than 3 if it is greater than 2 then x minus 2 is greater than 0 so this is positive however this will go to a negative value and the product of a positive and negative will give you a negative value so all along this this takes a negative value and let us try to see what happens when it is less than this so if i if i come somewhere here and and go all along let us see what happens when it's less than 2 when it's less than 2 then this is negative when it's less than 2 this is also negative so it is a negative and a negative multiplied gives me positive so so here all along it is positive now we want that interval where it is yes, negative yes. and that interval seems to be from from 2 to 3 2 and 3 excluded why because the 2 and 3 becomes 0 so if i want it to be strictly less than less than 0 occurs for this occurs for for x 
greater than 2 and less than 3. Correct? Now there are many places where we use things like this. Okay? And there should be there should be a way to represent it. We already know that roster form will be quite incapable of representing this. How? Because for the roster form, we like how, how, how do I write it? Right? Say, let us say the solution is A. How do I write? Do I write 2? And what do I do? Do I write 2.1? Then, then the question comes, is 2.01 not a solution? It is. Then, okay, fine. So, so I cannot write those infinite number of numbers between 2 and 3. So roster form is pretty, pretty incapable of, of doing this, of, of representing this, this range of numbers, interval of numbers, right? However, however, if it is, if we try to represent it by, by the, by the set builder form, we can write B is the set of all A such that such that such that x is strictly greater than 2 and is less than 3 right but if you have to do it quite often this also is kind of a bit troublesome thing to do right so what we do is we devise our own ways of representing it so if i write 2 and i write 3 okay then it is supposed to it is supposed to cover everything between 2 and 3 okay and if i want to exclude 2 i have to put a parenthesis also 3 is to be excluded so a parenthesis is to be put like that okay and graphically Graphically, it'll, it can be expressed as, say if this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3, then if I'm not including the points, right, I'm not including those points, then, then, then first of all, what do you do, the, all the numbers in between them, you kind of make it a bit darker right so that it it kind of represents all the numbers now comes the now comes the part where i want to these these, these number 2 and 3 are the boundary points so now comes the part where i want to exclude the point boundary points right the boundary points are to be excluded so what do i do i draw a hollow hollow circle at both the ends, right? We get the point. Now that could it could so happen that that I want an interval where I want to include these 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 boundary points, right? So let me kind of copy this. Let me kind of copy this and. Okay, so I I copy it and I paste it. So it may so happen that I want the end points to be included. So I might have something like this, the equality sign pitches in. And the moment that happens, so I write 2, I write 3, and to include the points, we use a bracket. This is called a bracket, right? So technically, this is called, okay? This is called, hold on. So, technically, this is called a parenthesis. Okay? This is called a parenthesis. And this is called the what we normally called as curly brackets they are called braces right and the square one are called the brackets right 
but normally we call this a square bracket this as a curly bracket and this as a small bracket or, or something like that but but technically this is the case now now as I move ahead okay so so here too here if if I have this okay then then if this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 and I'm supposed to include the end so so first of all to, to cater to all the points in between I color it dark and then to show that the end points are there I use a solid dot right understand now there can be two more cases one of the case can be can be to to include one of them and to exclude the other right so if I want to include two and exclude three what do I do I put I write first of all the interval like that to include two I put a square and to exclude three I put a put a parenthesis right and how is that represented that is represented here by graphically by by this okay so I include two I include two I exclude three so I, I exclude three that is shown by that is shown by a, a, a hollow circle okay and and in between you kind of I, I'm using a different color you people use your pen or pencil just to darken the the in-between thing right so so this becomes something like that and here this becomes dark solid one right and the, and the, and the last one is when you when you when you include this what do you tend to exclude two so you write this as the interval and this okay so so maybe this is zero and and this is one and this is two and this is three what do we do we we actually use a solid dot at this end because this is included and a hollow dot at this end and and in between I make it dark I make it dark right so this is this is the this is the representation in the interval form these right it is equivalent to this right we, we know that the set builder form would have worked but normally we use it so often and and at so many places that we do not go into this elaborate writing the moment you write it like this this is taken as the same thing as conveying the same thing so this this and this they are all equivalent right fine so you can say that is one of the ways of one of the one of the 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 shortened ways the 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 kind of uh, 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 quicker ways of representing the same thing writing the the thing in the set builder form this one right and and you should be very careful about these these brackets or parentheses right because that will that will lead to that that will convey whether those those end points are 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 included or not